Imagine yourself 66 million years ago in what is now Montana. You're near a large river with a wide flood plain on either side. Clearings run along both sides of the river. You notice that it looks similar to the American Deep South with a lot of cypress trees and other conifers, cycads, and the recent addition of angiosperms, or flowering plants. Across the river, you see a large herd of hadrosaurs, commonly known as duckbills, foraging as they make their way downstream. One of the hadrosaurs is lagging behind. It seems slow and appears injured. As they make their way downstream, the forest near the injured animal violently explodes. A 30-foot beast bounds towards the injured animal. The hadrosaurs scatter as the weak try to escape. The young Tyrannosaur seizes the Hadrosaur in its jaws, violently shaking with several tons of bite force. The young Prince kills his next meal. The young Rex seems nervous and vigilant, but settles into a much-needed feast. The scent of blood drifts on the wind, and soon you see small Dromaeosaurs, the family commonly called Raptors, as they try to steal morsels from his kill. The young Tyrannosaur pays them little mind. He is more worried about a bigger mouth stealing his food. As you watch the predator enjoy his meal, you notice movement coming upstream. Down well into the kill site, a king queen caught the scent. As the intruder gets closer, the Tyrannosaur notices and becomes agitated. The 42-foot Goliath is this young male's biggest threat in life. Standing a little over 13 feet tall at the hip, she is the largest carnivore to walk the late Cretaceous Montana, and one of the largest to walk the earth at any time. As she nears, you can see that she is covered in battle scars. These scars are from both prey as well as other members of her own species. The young Rex stands over his meal and opens his mouth, trying to intimidate her. He hopes to run his bigger sister off. Ultimately, this bluff will fail. As she approaches, their size becomes strikingly different. Not only is she 12 feet longer, but she weighs, outweighs him by several tons. In a fight, the young Rex would lose. As soon as she gets within striking distance, the younger Rex flees. He is faster, but she does not give chase. She claims the prize stolen from her little brother. Then you notice movement around her feet. Several baby Tyrannosaurs run and play. They seem clumsy with their legs proportionally longer than their mother appears to be. The queen and her offspring begin feasting on a stolen meal.